In other news, Oregon State Representative Diego Hernandez has been accused of domestic violence. Andrea Valderrama, the chair of the David Douglas School Board and a former Portland City Council candidate, filed a restraining order against Hernandez earlier this month. She says while they were living together last year, he threatened her and threw things at her while drunk. Valderrama has now requested the restraining order to be dismissed because she says Hernandez wanted a settlement that included a non-disclosure agreement. She told KGW, I rejected these demands and filed the dismissal not because the abuse didn't occur, but because I chose not to be silent about it, despite threats to my credibility and financial stability. Hernandez denied the domestic abuse claims in an interview with the Willamette Week. He told KGW that a trial would have allowed for you to have more insight into what took place from direct evidence and witnesses and asked that people withhold judgment on both of us. Portland police say a woman stole a dog from its owner in the Pearl District. It happened on Tuesday near the Fields Park. Police say Niobe Williams ran up to a woman walking her husky, yelled, give me that dog, shoved her and ripped the leash from her hands. Police caught up with Williams, who told them that she took the dog because she thought she'd be a better owner. Police say Williams also had another husky with her that was in poor health that she claimed she found. Police took that dog to a pet hospital. Washington Governor Jay Inslee just signed a bill to allow sports gambling in the state's tribal casinos. But the Seattle Times reports that it could be months before betting starts because casinos are closed right now. Oregon launched a sports betting app last year after the Supreme Court allowed sports betting across the country. And that's in other news.